I'm Christine. Welcome to Book Talk. This month I've been working with Simon & Schuster and today we are discussing Ellen Hopkins' new book, The You I've Never Known. So I sat down to read this book yesterday and I read the entire thing in one day. It looks like a big book. But Ellen Hopkins writes in verse. So a lot of the pages aren't full. So you can really fly through her stories. I really loved our lead here. I just really loved hearing her story and all the characters around her were so interesting and so real. I really, really enjoyed it. If you don't know what this book's about, I'm just gonna tell you right now that the synopsis is a hot mess don't look at it. It gives away way too much of the plot in a very confusing way. So you don't really understand it when you're reading the synopsis, but then you read the book and you're like, what the, I, you, why did they tell us this? Like it's all of a sudden starts falling into place. So it doesn't ruin the book by any means because it's more about the journey and experiencing these feelings with our lead character than knowing what happens at all. But I was just like, why? Yeah, just don't read the synopsis. In the You I've Never Known, we follow this girl, Ariel, who lives with her dad. She's lived with her father her entire life because her mother left them when she was very young. Now she's 17 and they've always traveled around, but they finally put down roots and she's been in the same place for a year. She's been able to make friends. It's really her journey trying to find her Herself now that they've kind of stopped moving and she's been able to create some sort of a home for herself. She's also in this place where she's trying to figure out her sexuality. She's feeling new things and she's trying to understand them. Meanwhile, she's grown up with a very homophobic father and he's fed her all this bitterness. And it's her journey trying to make her way through all of that. I really, really enjoyed it. I've read one other Ellen Hopkins book, which was Rumble, and it was an interesting story and it was an interesting read because of how stylized Ellen Hopkins works are, but it was nothing like the connected emotional feelings that I got when I was reading the you I've never known. I'm giving this a five out of five stars on Goodreads. I flew through all the sections in verse and I actually preferred those to the sections that were in prose. There are a few sections that are in prose. I don't, I don't know. I really enjoyed that style. I really enjoyed how when something is emotional or when something is important, you can feel it not only through the words, but through the visual of them on the page. I liked how personal it felt. It felt real. And in the end, if you read the author's note, you'll see that Ellen actually went through something very similar to one of the main plot lines in this book. <sighs> That was an emotional thing to read. So the story has a lot of wonderful themes and it's one I have not read before. If any of this sounds interesting to you, I highly recommend picking it up. I don't know how to do an unspoilery section for this book because it feels so real and raw that like it's more about experiencing it than discussing it afterward. Uh, like, I want to keep it to myself in a way because there were some things that really struck chords with me that felt like really personal to me. There has been like one or two books that I felt this way before, but I've tried to do the non-spoiler section anyway, but I don't I, I don't feel right about doing it with this one. I really enjoyed all the friendships that were formed, all the different bonds. Sira and Ariel, of course, Monica and Ariel. I loved watching her relationship with Gabe develop and Hillary develop and Zelda develop. You know, watching our lead's mindset start to change, start, start to realize things, I just think it was very, very well done. I don't know why I'm always intimidated by Ellen Hopkins books. I just always feel like, oh my gosh, that's gonna be a mountain to climb. And so I was like hesitant going into it, but then I'm so glad I read it. So that's how I feel. If you've read it, let me know what you thought. I'm Christine, I make videos every Tuesday. I'm at Xtine May on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye. Thank you.